Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create uh, recurring content in your articles that you can just change with one click. In few words you have something like this, we are on in the front end of this uh, very simple Joomla installation and let's just open one article in which we will see this find out more button and um, it, and it exists in every single article all the five articles that I published as you can notice article 2, 3, 4 and 5 5 here, okay the, the, this button that doesn't do anything is just a fake link with uh, the class that I took from this template and let's go back to the home page we can just have this content for some reasons uh, we need to to change the text of that content and we can make it changeable with one click so how does it work first thing we would not add the content in the article in the way that we are used to um, let's say for instance article manager in the content menu we have they are all the same so I just show you article number one and then you they are all exactly the same thing let's wait for it to load okay so as you can see there is an image there is some fake text a read more and this piece of code here which says within curly braces load position space find out more load position is a, a Joomla code that we use thanks to a plugin that I will show you and the find out more is a position that we invent so it's a position it's a position that does not exist in your template but you can just use it as a position and I will show you exactly how and the curly braces okay so I just don't save it I just close first thing to do is creating a module because that's a module and modules are under the extensions menu module manager I already have it obviously oh sorry I got the filter with the trash okay uh, find out more which is custom HTML module in the find out more position which happens to be the same name that we found after load position in the curly braces in the article so let's open it and see how it works this find out more button is simply and you can see the, CS, the HTML code as it loads it's simply a piece of code, a piece of text that says find out more which is a link in which I have added, I show you in case you want to know the class taken from the template so it's class uh, btn space btn primary there are I think four classes it's something that comes with bootstrap it's not something that comes with Joomla but yeah anyway there's another another story <laughs> so uh, let's go back to the tiny MC uh, view and this find out more is simply a link that has some CSS style and the trick is position position as you can see is find out more because when you click here you cannot just or simply choose positions from your template but you can type positions that don't exist so don't exist when I hit the enter button if I say so I change position if I save and go back in the front end of my website and just open one of these articles you see there is no longer find out more button because Joomla expects to find it in the find out more position okay so if I write again find out more more and I hit enter remember to hit enter and then I save it would appear now let's pretend in the meantime 
while the, the page is loading. My computer is insanely slow. Okay, it's working now. You see, it's back. Let's pretend that it's not just a link, but there is a piece of code that you want, or a piece of something that you want people to see. And you need to change it one day. <laughs> and if you have added some, this piece of code in all your, in or if you have created it in your articles, you will have to change all of your articles. Let's say, for instance, you want to put some Google Ad AdSense advertisement. You can put them into a module, and if one day you want to change the advertisement, you want to change the size, the colors, you just go into your module, change it, and the changes will apply to all of your articles, because all of your articles, instead of having the code itself, will have a call to the module. Okay. Uh, and this trick doesn't only work with HTML custom modules, it works with every single module that come with Joomla, even third parties. And let's say I want to change, find out less. Stupid thing, but just to show you. I save, and if I reload, let's give it the time, and find out more, it will become as soon as it loads, find out less, and it applies to all the single articles that are here because all the articles come with that load position code within curly braces and the position of the module, which happens to be find out more in this case. Okay, this is a Joomla plugin. plugin. I save and close and show you. We can find it under extensions and plugin manager. There it goes, and it, usually it's in the first page, so it's called content uh, load modules here. If we click on it, we can see that there are the instructions. There is not very much that you can do with it. You can either enable or disable it. And you can choose what kind of uh, tags this module will be wrapped by. Joomla by default uses divs, and it uses in well in this in this case I see it uses divs with a class which is custom class, and you can customize with CSS if you want. But if you have your own classes or if you want something special. You can just do, do no wrapping, so you will wrap it yourself. Um, or you can use tables. You can use several things that you can try out. And the, the syntax is curly braces, load position, the name of the position that you have chosen, the module position, and that's the trick. You can also do something more. I invite you to read the instructions. It's not nothing really complex. It needs too much time. And the beauty of it is, for instance, and this may, this may be a subject for another tutorial, uh, you can have content that is seen only by guests and content that is seen only by registered users. So, for instance, you can decide that your uh, Google advertisement is just for guests and registered users, they don't see any advertisement in your website. You can just set it uh, with a register access oh, well in this case you can't because it's slightly more complex what I'm, what I'm saying is slightly more complex but you can use also the access levels to to play with this with these modules so uh, in another tutorial maybe I will show you how to make um, content specific for some users or for some some groups of users or for some access levels I should say um, so that in fact you can have advertisement only for public users and users who pay a subscription maybe they don't see any advertisement and this can be done easily with this technique load module or load position position name and that's it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you find out you found out something that you didn't know yet um, if you like the video just thumb it up subscribe to the channel because there are more to come 
and invite your friends to watch it. And if you have questions, requests, or everything, just just drop me a, drop me a line in the comments, and I will read it, and I will possibly reply. If I don't reply, it doesn't mean that I'm ignoring you. It just means that I'm busy, but I will read all of your comments. Okay, thank you, and see you next time. Bye bye.